Ladies and gentlemen, it's EG versus Na'Vi here for the best of three. We're getting some sort of new heroes. The Omni Knight coming into play, something that we yeah, yeah. aren't really seeing any team touch. You see GPK have some pretty, pretty impressive performances so far. Storm the other day, though, was off to an explosive start, but did start a full flat in his face. So we'll see what he's able to do with it this time round. Top lane, aggression onto Immersion, and that's going to find them first blood there, EG. That's a young Genilius uh, coming out with the smoke movement. They'll find Crit. And they're... Uh, they will take him, and Crit is going to make him work for it. In fact, Crit with these Disables is buying time. The, there are two more members of EG over here. They're not actually going to come across, and as it is, young Gianilius just don't Ramsey's? have the control to kill him. Uh, they will turn and look towards the bigger killer's dead, though. Ramsey is with the Stew and Cross, gets them in the stun. Ramsey should still fall here, and he will do so. Ilias with the Purifying Flames, they will actually end up picking up Crit as well. GPK is going to look for the cleanup in return, turns over towards the Ilias kill, and will find it, so gets one. EG. Let's see what they can catch with their smoke. We didn't see Na'Vi have too much luck with theirs. We'll see if EG has a better shot. Young G on the front. Blind smoke will dispel. Actually going to turn. Crystallize trying to move in onto the Enchantress. The stun catches the two of them. He'll throw the stun the way of Arteezy. Stop Arteezy from getting on top of Immersion. Arteezy and GPK turn over towards Ilias. The GA has come out. We'll give some safety for now for Na'Vi, but now with the GA coming to an end, EG is just going to push on. The stacks building up on Crystallize as Arteezy commits with the BKB. Alchemist saves the final moments by the False Promise, but Ramses comes in with the RP onto the two of them. Crystallize is taking a lot of damage through this False Promise, so will almost certainly pop at the end of it. No, the heals were enough, but the Purification Crystallize does live for a little longer, but finally falls to Arteezy's Earth Shock. Stump for Crit catches the two of them. Immersion's gone. Young G, Pasha, and Ilias, can they turn this around? The Ember is being saved for now by Ilias, Young G will be healed. The purifying flame starting to kick in. Young G will remain alive. Ramses is trying to chase and hunt him down. There's no remnants left on Young G. With the phase boots, he's got a fair bit of movement speed to continue to run away from this. CG, shockwave. Won't catch him here. They'll find him with the oh, slow caught fly. With the enchant. Young G, two seconds till remnant. Can he get his way out? Go for the self heals, but didn't throw a remnant out before he went up in the yours. That remnant coming after uh, as he misses the opportunity to maybe jump away. Both of the concoction talents got buffed and maybe dispelled it too, so I, I see why it's coming back to some degree. Right, oh, he's going. He's going to try for Ramses. Leaning in if they got the damage to take him out, though. Ramses. Able to skewer off in time. The root holds him in place. Crystallized punching desperately, trying to bring him down. One more would do it. Can he find it? He can. The Radiance burn damage will get the kill. Now Crystallized having to pop the ult and start a retreat. Another concoction beginning to cook up. Crystallize gets it down to Arteezy. Arteezy popping the ult. Status resistance will remove the stun pretty quickly. Na'Vi continuing to try and fight up, but now he turns. Wants to go in onto the Alchemist, but in fact, the Alchemist just turns and goes on the win. That's Arteezy's age is gone. Now, if he can they do it a second time, there'll be a buyback from Crit. Now they'll start to retreat. Crystallize's ult coming to an end. Arteezy moving in with the Nullifier. Crystallize is going to be saved for now by the Gia, but the Nullifier does persist and take it off it. He's going to continue to run, able to blink off to the side. Throws the concoction out onto Crit, but GPK with the BKP. He's starting to clean things up. They turn back over towards the out. Crystallize has the chemical raid, but now it finishes. And he turns the ult from Immersion, though. It comes down through the entire team, crashing through them all. GPK, enough mana to ball out of there. But Young G, he's on the chase. Another remnant now. He's actually going to be able to close the gap onto the stone. Crystallize in with the blink. They've found GPK. Na'Vi, they're fighting back hard. They were down at 11k. And Na'Vi just holding strong as the five. The, the net worth back to even now as Na'Vi just continue to swing this game further and further towards their favor. Crystallize. It's ready to charge and goes in with the jump. Look at the blow up fly, gets the stun on the way. Flying Arteezy flies out. Abyssal Blade onto Arteezy. Can they save him? He's able to get the ult out. Jumps to the side, looks for Pasha. Pasha, he's ended up chilling on the high ground. Ramses comes in with a skewer. RP, it's only going to catch Crystallize. They just don't have the damage to kill him. We see GPK turn, try to deal with Ilias on the back lines. But Ilias, he's able to get the false promise off in time. He'll survive. EG's lost too. They've got a bail. EG's got to run yet again. As this whole game has just been EG running, running away. Three of them won't make it as Young G comes in with a slight triple kill for him. I mean, the frustrations have got to be high on EG. They must be sitting there asking each other, what do we do? A five-man RP to kill everybody in the RP. I think they need to. I think they need a refresher if they want to. If they want to kill people. I pick off. I pick off though. That's a good start. See if they can get the jump. 
Looking towards Immersion. They'll lead him with that Hex. Crit having the extra cast range now that he's hit the talent. They'll go with another fire onto Immersion, but Crystallize, he's already just jumping in the back lines. Ramses tries to screw away, but Crystallize is back up with the Abyssal. Takes out Crit. Now they'll turn over for Pasha. He's saved again. The, the False Promise comes out onto the Omni Knight. GPK and Arteezy, they're trying to beat into Crystallize. Crystallize just starts to punch back. Arteezy's BKB about to come to an end. They will manage to kill off Pasha. Crit comes in with a two-man number. The Star Splitter from Immersion catches both GPK and Arteezy. Arteezy's out for 100. GPK as well. Ramsey's trying to run, but Crystallize and Young G chase him down. The stomp from Immersion catches him out as Young G and Crystallize head in to finish the kill. Triple kill for the out. Crit, he is not going to get out of this one as Young G will have the means to chase this down for sure. As Crit, he'll try to hype with the glimmer, but the slight change finds him. EG just getting destroyed in every single fight now for the past 20 minutes. I think you have to try to steal the Aegis. I don't okay. think you can fight. I think you legitimately go for the Aegis for the steal. Like, that is your only play here. EG charging in Ramses. He's going to look to skew it. Uh, the Crystallize out outside oh, of the pit. Crystallize gets the ult off in time. Silence down to Pasha. They found the Pasha with the silence, but they just don't have the damage inside the pit. Roshan goes down with Young G. He's having to pick up the Aegis. Arteez, he's down for 100 seconds. No buyback. The chase here from Na'Vi, forcing EG away from the pit. The stomp will catch out Ramses. GPK is all the way back to base, but Ramses will be left behind. They tried for EG there, their last option, and they'll tap out. <laughs> GG is called as Na'Vi with a spectacular showing in this game one. Uh, the blind. No, I mean, 50% that's a, blind. That's ten. amazing against the TB illusions. So good. On bottom, EG. I have just found an opportunity for first blood here, Ilias. He's going to turn. Get the damage out, though, with the Fatal Bonds of the Shadow Word. Try and set up a Crystallize to find something in return. GPK, man, he is destroying the mid lane. 14 denies. Top, not easy. Actually falling rather low here. Immersion and Pasha going in. The Fairifier will just keep Hearts easy alive, or will it? The Gale's ticking him down low. It's enough. The poison kills him off. Huh. For uh, an alternate build, or do you think he does still go for, for the Mech Greaves first for the team this match? I, I think you're right that he will probably go for an alternate build. Okay, GPK with the rotation. So they've got this setup. Ramsey's charging in. The Shadow is starting to heal. Crystallize up. Crystallize will turn with the multi shot. Ramsey's coming in with a two man skewer. The X Mal is actually helping Crystallize here as it separates him from Ramsey's. GPK tries to TP out underneath the tab, and Immersion's able to get him with the charges. GPK will go down. Young G joining as well. The chase will be there on towards Ramsey's, closing in with the remnant. He's able to land the chains. Na'Vi responding perfectly to EG's attempt to dive on that bottom as they kill off both GPK and Ramsey's with their quick response. See the setup here around the 10 minute bounty rune. After EG try and step forward. Na'Vi are going to be ready to fight. The charge on Ramsey's giving them the vision. Ramsey's heads in. They're going to be there straight away with the surprise of the fourth and jump in. The chains into the silence. The trap was set there by Na'Vi as they catch and kill Ramsey's. So you do have that advantage, but that doesn't last forever. You have to go kill Arteezy. Na'Vi. They're on the hunt. They found Arteezy. They're straight in with the charge. There's the follow up with the jump four from Young G and the Remnant. They find the catch thereafter. A quick move into that triangle as they know that that's the. The safe place that Arteezy has been sticking to for the past three minutes, and they're able to invade and kill him off. They're even going to switch over towards mid, see if they can find something else. GPK will turn, catch Young G in the, the torrent, but the offering is going to be dropped down. Will O Wisp from Fly will be used to try and create this area that Navi struggle to fight in. They'll turn, they'll kill off the Will O Wisp. It's gone, it's out of the fight. Ramsey is still trying to lead forward, change, catching onto him and Fly. They won't be able to find any kills from this Navi. They will start putting pressure onto this tier one mid, EG. What can they do to push Na'Vi away? They're clicking out the creep wave. And Na'Vi coming in with a heavy push with the presence of Pasha's Venno. Bonds out again. Did catch a fair few of them, in fact, here. Got the three of them. Is charging onto Ramsey's. Ramsey's goes for the RP onto the Spirit Breaker alone. Will secure the kill. But the Nova's out as well as the Gust. They'll turn into GPK. They're punching in with a fatal bond. CG, they're falling low. They're going to lose GPK. The deep remnant from Young G as he's able to snipe out the Magnus. Chains on to fly. Young G setting up for these kills past the tower. As Crip, he's trying to run, but it's another cleanup from Na'Vi. They turn over towards Fly. They'll claim another. RTZ turns up, but he's too late. He can't push Na'Vi away. Away from say you know from saving the rest of his team. You know one underrated thing with the fatal bonds is that it actually shows you where somebody's juking, because you see with you the, see the with line the, with, the, with the lines and yeah. the angles. So they were pinging. They're like, he's here, he's here, he's here. Go, go, go. But you know it doesn't matter, obviously. Navi, they continue to play aggressive. Immersion, a little low. He's got the stick charge of the fairy fire. Young G trying to get the slight connection onto Fly. But Ooh, that was nice. Slamming down on the Ilias. He's committing. He's going to drop the offering down onto Crit. The fatal bonds as well. It's doing the damage. They've been able to shoot down the Rubik. 
The rest of EG just backing away now. Those ults have been committed from Na'Vi. Able to turn up to these fights. He's, he's yet to die this game. 3-0-4. Uh, and he's still getting some incredible CS. He's over 2k ahead of Arteezy's farm on the Terra Blade. They will. I mean, they're, they're, they're going to get immersion at least with that telekinesis. The catch is there. So now, now Na'Vi will be pushed to the side of Roche. And Na'Vi there, not too unhappy to, to take a fight on the side. Oh, nice combo. Young G still able to jump out for an immersion. He's just charging it on his crit. His crit's low. Oh, comes out for an immersion. They're taking out the Ruby. Na'Vi just staying in a position where EG struggling to leave the base. They're going to try and come out. Coming up to the timing where that Aegis will be taken away. The flames Young G. He's going to find the change under the turret. The blast coming out already. So Mercia is still able to make his way over with the charge. They're on top of Vlyer. This call is dead. Ramsey's as well just gets destroyed in the combo. Young G, he's even going to chase it for more. Chains will be removed by the Manta from Arteezy. The boat comes crashing down. Only catches on to Pasha. Two quick kills then. You're, you're seeing why EG is trying to do their best to avoid these fights. Got a naked Midas on your five. Mid lane, crit. He's found an opening. He's going to try and lead him with a grab onto Pasha. Will the Wisp down as well? Yeah, this Venos, he's gone for. He will get the ult out. So a little bit of a nuisance for EG. As uh, they do take their time to kill him, but they will do so. Crit's able to finish it off with the Fae Bar. Arteezy though is on the front. They managed to drop the column on him. Arteezy having to use the Sunder. Does manage to find Immersion as a strong target to get his health back up. So EG able to find two kills with the BKB starting to run out though. Arteezy's still got to be careful. But EG, I'll be happy with that. Getting in, getting two kills for the fight and not losing anybody themselves. Oh, Crit. I got anything after this Telekinesis. They do have the... Oh, RP into the X mark and crit with a stolen remnant he's able to burst young g down a, a bit of a misplay it felt like young g there as he did jump out and then back into that remnant still on eg's side and eg had the vision crit's able to close the gap and that's a big catch for eg i can definitely understand the bait of wanting to go in after your veno gets such a good ult off oh man oh, they lose crystallized too this is a big fight here for evil genius is crystallized caught in the middle they'll clean up the drow as well Arteezy starting to come in big here. They turn over towards Pasha. Ramsey's falling low. Uh, can they keep him alive? No immersion. He's charged in on this. He's going to try and get his way out. The Scarty's going to start to slow. Crit jumps in with the grab of the Telekinesis. The speed of immersion will get him away, so he will survive. Yeah, it's 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 hard to kill him. They need they need a lot of damage in lockdown. Oh, Crystallize. What's he doing here? What's he doing here? I mean, he's got the Aegis. Maybe it's a bit of a bait. Can Na'Vi fight back in with the second life of the Drow? They're going to drop the county offering onto GPK and Ramsey. Ramsey just commits with the RP, though. They caught Crystallize. Nazis is just able to stand up on the high ground, punching into them. It's three dead on Na'Vi. There'll be a buyback from Crystallize, but a buyback for what? Don't stand next to Arteezy. Give him power. Heal him when he gets gone on. I mean, for everybody. You just, you just buff your boy Artur. Oh, immersion. They're going to try and charge in here. We're going to have the commit from Young G. Post the BKB. Looks to take out Fly. We'll be able to eliminate the Cottle before he gets anything out. Fly buys back. Arteezy. Post the BKB. Turns over towards Crystallize. Crystallize Glimmer slides to the side with the four staff. He'll get out of there. Arteezy still looking for a target immersion. Comes back in with the charge. It's arm as well onto Arteezy. But GPK, he's got the X mark. Torrent control onto the Spirit Breaker. 1200 damage. Crits coming out from Arteezy. The disarms there from Pasha. They're controlling Arteezy. Now Crystallize. He's able to hit back. But no one, no one could really buy an AC, right? There isn't the farm on the other carries. Like, like, would you have liked to maybe have seen an AC instead of the Daedalus? Or do you still agree that this is the way you would want to go as the, the TB just full in on the damage with the MKB Daedalus? I think I think he needed to do this to 1v5. And yeah. you, you need your other heroes to build the supplementary items for you. Okay. I think the mag probably can get an the AC. Immersion. I mean, again, the same area. Immersion and Young G, they just start the fight and it's, instantly they go for fly. Young G trying to get rid of the call. He'll do so. RTZ turns with the BKP and Meta will kill off the Spirit Breaker. Now looking over towards Crystallize with the KRD offering. It's dropped down. RTZ is silenced again. This Drow just destroys the Terra Blade. Crystallize shoots him down. Ramses is trying to clean up, but without their Terra Blade, so much of EG's damage is just wiped out of the fight. Triple kill for Crystallize. And RTZ, he's buying back. He knows he's going to need to because this push is going to come in from Na'Vi. I don't know, man. It's just without that plus armor, very hard team to fight into. If you if you don't find that jump, they will just turn and, and shoot you down. And how are they going to get in? You just you can't get in. Immersion. Here he comes, straight on to GPK. The Torrent Storm is out, but honestly, it, it only hit the one of them. 
Only one turret connects on the side. Jung Ji's able to get the BKB out. Jumps out with the remnants to get away. Curry off it down to Artsy. Artsy is shot as he pops the BKB. He's dying. He needs to sunder. Gets the sunder off onto Ilias. And now Artsy can look to turn. He takes down one. The death golem coming out from Ilias. But Artsy is disarmed. Immersion's on top of him. Pasha's picked up the double. There's two dead on EG. Artsy. He's got no escape. He's surrounded. Dead for two minutes. Navi, they're cleaning up big time as there's four gone on EG. GG is called as Navi will take this series two to zero against EG. Man, given, given how they stopped their heroes completely, I feel like Navi just popped off after that win. I think they're so I, stoked with that. A 2-0 victory against DGA.